In this video, we'll go over how to use the LASX software to take images with your DMI-L LED microscope. Here, I've already opened the LASX software. It is important to remember that the DMI-L LED is a manual microscope, so the software only controls the camera and cannot detect when you switch objectives or the filter cubes. Let's start by going over how to take a transmitted light image of your sample. First, Check that you are sending the light from your sample to the camera by pulling out the lever below the eyepieces. Next, select the objective you wish to use from your Objectives menu. Manually move the correct objective into place and click OK. When you are ready to view your sample, press Live. This will give you a live preview of your sample. You can use this preview to adjust the focus or illumination settings before taking your image. Set an appropriate exposure time. Here, I've already set the exposure for my phase contrast image to 30 milliseconds. When you are happy with your image, press Start to take the image. The software will open a pop-up window to check that the correct objective is selected for the image. This will ensure that the pixel size is recorded accurately for drawing scale bars or measuring features in your image. In this case, the correct objective 10x is already selected, so I will click OK. Once the image is taken, you can navigate to the Open Projects tab to view your image. Here you can choose to rename your image by right-clicking on the image and selecting Rename. Now let's go over how to take an image in fluorescence. Taking a fluorescence image is similar to taking a transmitted light image with a few small differences. First, let's navigate away from the Projects tab and back to the Acquisition tab. Select the filter cube you wish to use, then manually move the correct filter cube into place. For fluorescent images, many people choose to use a lookup table to color their images. Double-click on the color bar while you are not in live mode and select the color you wish to use. In this case, I'm taking an image of GFP labeling in my sample, so I'll choose a green lookup table, but you can choose any color you wish from the list. Next, set an appropriate exposure time. The exposure time you set will be sample and experiment dependent. To learn more about setting an appropriate exposure time for fluorescence imaging, see our video on best practices for camera and illumination settings. Go live to view your sample. For fluorescence, we recommend using the autoscale feature to visualize dim signals and ensure you are not saturating your signal. Make any necessary adjustments to your sample, then press start when you're ready to take your image. Again, the software will check that the correct objective is in place. Remember to manually close the shutter on the microscope when you are not viewing or imaging your sample to prevent your sample from bleaching. When you have a sample with multiple fluorescent labels or wish to view your phase contrast image with your fluorescent signal, it's useful to be able to overlay the images you have taken. Here, I will show you how to generate these overlaid images in the software. Here are three images that were taken from the same region of the sample. An image of Texas red staining, an image of GFP staining, and a transmitted light image. To see all these images overlaid on top of each other, hold Shift while selecting the group of images you wish to overlay. While holding Shift, right-click and an option to overlay appears. If you wish to select images that are not grouped together consecutively, you can use the control key instead of the shift key to select multiple images. Now all three of my selected images appear in the preview window and a new image called Overlay 001 has been created. To view your images overlaid in the same window, select this overlay feature on the far right. This will open a new window showing all three images overlaid on top of each other. Double click on this image to make it bigger and use the channel buttons on the right hand side to turn specific channels on and off. When you are ready to save your images, go to the Open Projects tab. 
there are two ways to save your images. One is saving your projects as Leica image files or LIFs. The second is by exporting your images. Let's start by talking about saving projects as Leica image files. Leica uses projects to help you organize your data. A project is a collection of images, and when you take an image, it's placed into a project. You can save a project with all of your images as a Leica image file or LIF. When you save this way, you preserve the project structure, and when you reopen projects in LASX, you can continue to add images to the same project. To save your project, right-click on the project and select Save As. You can then name your project file. This will save all the images in your project under one file name. To access your individual images in the future, you can either reopen the project in the LASX software, or you can open your file in ImageJ or Fiji using Bioformat's importer. To learn more about opening LIF or Leica image files in ImageJ or Fiji, please see our YouTube video on opening LIF files in Fiji. If you prefer, you can also export your files. To export all the images in your project, right-click on the project title and select Export. To export individual images, right-click on your image and select Export. This will open a pop-up window where you can save your images in a variety of file types, including TIFFs and JPEGs. To learn more about exporting images, see our video on File Export.